how's that all encoded in the brain? Like, where's the storage of information? Are we talking just maybe to get it uh, a little bit more specific? Is it in the hardware of the actual connections? Is it in uh, chemical communication? Is it electrical communication? Do we, do we know? So, so this is, you know, a, a paper that we are bringing out soon. Which one uh, is this? Um, this is the cortical microcircuits paper that uh, I sent you a draft of. Of course, this is, uh, a lot of it is still hypothesis. One hypothesis is that a, you can think of a cortical column as encoding a, a concept. A concept, you know, think of it as a, uh, a um, con- an example of a concept is, um, is an edge present or not? Or is is an object present or not okay so it can you can think of it as a binary variable a binary random variable the presence of an edge or not or the presence of an object or not so each cortical column can be thought of as representing that one concept one variable and then the connections between these cortical columns are basically encoding the relationship between these random variables mm-hmm. and then there are connections within the cortical column there are each cortical column is implemented using multiple layers of neurons mm-hmm. with very, very, very rich um, structure there. You know, there are thousands of neurons in a cortical column. But and, but that structure is similar across the different cortical columns. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And also these cortical columns collect, connect to a substructure called thalamus. In the, uh, you know, so all, all cortical columns pass through this substructure. So our hypothesis is that yeah, the connections between the cortical columns implement this, uh, you know, th- that's where the knowledge is stored about, you know, how these different concepts, concepts connect to each other. And then the the neurons inside this cortical column and in the thalamus in combination implement this uh, actual computations needed for inference, which includes explaining away and competing between the different uh, hypotheses. Um, and it is all very... So what is amazing is that uh, neuroscientists have actually done ex- experiments to the tune of showing these things. Uh, mm-hmm. They might not be putting it in the overall inference framework, but they will show things like, if I poke this higher level neuron, uh, it will inhibit through this complicated loop through the thalamus, it will inhibit this other column. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they will, they will do such experiments. <laughs> but do they use terminology of concepts, for example? So, so you're, no. you're, you're, I mean, uh, is, it, uh, is it something where it's easy to anthropomorphize and think about concepts like uh, you start moving into logic-based kind of reasoning systems. So um, are we to think of concepts in that kind of way? Or is it uh, is it a lot messier, a lot more gray area? Uh, you know, even even more gray, even more messy than uh, the artificial neural network kinds um, kinds of abstractions. It's easiest way to think of it as a variable, right? It's a binary variable, hmm. which is showing the presence or absence of something. S- some, but I guess what I'm asking is, is that something? Uh, that we're supposed to think of something that's human interpretable of that something. It doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be human interpretable. There is no need for it to be human interpretable. Uh, but it's it's almost like um, you you will be able to find some interpretation of it uh, because it is connected to the other things yeah, so that you know about. And, and the the point is, it's useful somehow. Yeah, it's useful as an entity in the graph that in connecting to the other entities that are, we, let's call them concepts. Right. Okay, so uh, by the way, what's, are these the cortical microcircuits? Correct, these are the cortical microcircuits. You know, that's what neuroscientists use to talk about the circuits in, in uh, within a level of the cortex. So you can think of, you know, let's think of a neural network, you know, artificial neural network terms, you know. People talk about the architecture of the, you know, so how many, how many layers they build, uh, you know, what is the fan in, fan out, et cetera. That is the macro architecture. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and then within a layer of the neural network, you can, you, you know, the cortical neural network is much more structured within, you know, within a level. There's a lot more intricate uh, structure there. Uh, but even, um, even within an artificial neural network, you can think of in feature detection plus pooling as one, mm-hmm. one level. And so that is kind of a micro circuit. Uh, it, it's much more uh, complex in the real brain, uh, and uh, and 
so within a level, whatever is that circuitry within a column of the cortex and between the layers of the cortex, that's the microcircuitry. Yeah, I love that terminology. Uh, machine learning people don't use the circuit terminology, right? But they should. 